not a drop of water. However, there is a lot of good land. My fellow citizens, the situation is grave. We have to make sacrifices because our economy is in shambles. If we don't take steps right now to correct this, we are headed to disaster. I have to impose new taxes for the sake of our nation. I am counting on everybody's sense of responsibility and civility to help us go through these bad times. But don't you worry too much now, because the air you breathe is still free. Ciao, I have to go jogging now. <laughs> Tell me, dear friend, what are you doing? Well, I string pearls. A laborious job. Does it make money? Not much. I'm paid with pearls. At work conditions. Only distraction is listening to the president speaking on the Dobazon. Hey, pal, buy one of my hats. It's the original bazook striped hat. It's hand blade. Feel it, or you'll see. It's not expensive. Only one straw. Why do you sell hats? This job does not fit you at all. What an insight! You are right! I am a bazook wise brand! The talent wise brand! So what are you doing here then? Why aren't you at the temple? Well, I thought it would be preferable to put some distance between me and the wise brand council since I lost my artistic syllable. So I sell souvenirs while waiting for better days. Is there something I could do for you? Hmm. My wife and I, we have little conflict. If you go by the temple, talk to her on my behalf. My room's digital is Carl Asgardenry. I come in. Get out of here, you little blood knuck.
you belong to the Schnibble sect? What is the Schnibble? Get closer, brother. I can see that you are lost. Let the Schnibble open its arms and embrace you. You'll find peace within your soul, and you'll clearly see the way. Furthermore, we take credit cards. What are you talking about? Where is this Schnibble? The Schnibble belongs to the members of the sect as long as they pay their dues. So you think you hold the Schnibble? Certainly. Proof is that the beast that roams the city at night does not harm the followers. It's the Schnibble's way to punish the profane. Our beloved Bigwig has appeared many times holding the hand of the charming Cocotte. It appears that a romantic liaison is starting to bloom. We will keep our readers up to the latest development in this story. I'm devastated. She and this repulsive character? Why keep on living anymore? matters now. Azimuth is probably dead, and Cocut will never love me, and the bigwig is just too powerful. Why go on? from Azimuth. Poo poo, zig zig. Azimuth might still be alive. I can't let him down. Come on, take heart. Little one, I put this message on the airwaves especially to your attention. First, be assured, according to my calculations, I should be still alive. Uh, don't waste any time, however, to help me. I'm going to give you some instructions. Imagine a situation which is stagnating for too long, a city where hope is non-existent, the population gone, and where zlotting has become the only means of survival. A situation on the edge of ruin where it became time to plant a little seed that, if it sprouts, will give birth to the schnibble. The schnibble comes from the center, propagating itself, and takes on the color that is given to it. A great power, this schnibble, as you can see. Certain people have so understood it that they use it for bad reasons. See the schnibble sect, for example. However, the schnibble comes from the heart. If he's well-oriented, he dazzles and lights up everything. He's the element of progress, and by his acceptance in the collective unconsciousness, he created favorable conditions for evolution. If not for revolution, the schnibble is a cloud which carries you, Woodruff, and which will make your quest successful. Good luck, little schnibble. <laughs> 